Hi, my name is Sean Smith. I'm a respiratory therapist and we will be going over uh, some modules, some videos on respiratory therapy and education. Today we're going to be going over the Heliox uh, therapy with use of the Precision Medical Heliox Blender. Uh, this is the Heliox Blender that we're using here. It's from Precision Medical. And what's nice about this system is you can incorporate it with use on uh, a quite a few different therapies. I'm going to go over the setup, the basic setup of this model. You have your compressed gas hose right here, which comes down and attaches to your Heliox regulator. And the Heliox regulator attaches straight to your Heliox tank. Okay. You also have your compressed oxygen hose right here, which is attaching to a 50 psi oxygen source and for this purpose we just have it connected to an e-cylinder and it's set up and ready to go okay if you look at the dial right here you have 20 to 100 percent and for use on heliox you can see the brown area is 20 to 40 and that's really where we want to keep it for use in heliox the higher you go up if i increase this to 50 you're in training more oxygen and less helium or heliox and so you're really not making a full optimization of your therapy so you want to keep it in this area and typically we start off at about 30 which is a 70 30 mix okay it's a 70 30 mix but keep in mind that what we're using is 80 20 compressed gas tank okay so as you increase that to 30 that then changes it to 70 30 all right now, let's go over the indications for use of Heliox. There's two primary indications for use on the Heliox. One is status asthmaticus or refractory uh, asthma attack, asthma exacerbation. So when your conventional therapy like a bronchodilator, beta agonist, uh, is not working on these types of patients and they have an increased uh, respiratory distress, we can use the Heliox with them and also incorporate long-acting or, or beta agonist uh, medications and we can also administer solumeterol and other types of therapy. What we use here at our facility is the Nebu mask. Okay? The Nebu mask incorporates a non-rebreather type and this is from Hudson RCI, this is where we get ours at. But it also gives you the option on the side port to also administer a nebulizer treatment, which is very nice because we're doing two things at once here. We don't have to uh, makeshift uh, a device for, for our therapy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on our flow meter for the non-rebreather side and you can see the reservoir inflate and then we also have another flow meter on the other side of our blender and that's what's attached to our nebulizer treatment. So as I increase this You now see your, your nebulizing. So your nebulizer is working. Okay. We're just using some saline for this, all purpose practice. And once you incorporate, it pushes up on the screen. And so now you're blending you're bleeding in your treatment. Okay. Now from these two flow meters, and the reason why we have two flow meters on the sides is so that when we set it at a 70-30 mix or we set it at an 80-20 mix we're getting that 80-20 mix through both flow meters and so we're not blending in any compressed air we're not blending in any other extra oxygen and so we're giving the patient exactly what we set on our flow meter or on our on our blender uh, so we're not bleeding out anything else and that concludes our uh, discussion on heliox therapy. Thank you.